You know, the real proof in the pudding of any tracking drone is taking it out on a countryfied back road. Hey man, easy. It's my, my good chucks. We might run into some hill folk, some banjo players, and maybe a couple of moonshiners too. Really dug deep for that one, didn't you? Gonna need a mop. So one of us is gonna be on the motorcycle and one of us will be following behind with a camera in the car. I get the motorcycle, right? No, I get the jacket, I match and everything. You can't do that. All right, so now I think it'll follow this. All right, here, take this and walk that way. Oh, it's following you. Or maybe it's following me. No, it's following you. Run out in the field. <laughs> okay, cool. So I've got the beacon in my pocket and the Skydio 2 is tracking the beacon. Everything is going swimmingly well as I round this corner. Very impressive footage. I didn't see how close it got to this wire until I watched the footage afterwards, but that was a near miss. <laughs> and so right here is the last bit of footage from the Skydio. It didn't record past this point. Here's the view of the crash from the car. And here's the crash once again from the rear-facing camera on the motorcycle. Oh no! Did it crash? It hit the, it hit the power line. It did? It did. <laughs> oh my god. And the battery came out. Do you know where the battery is? Huh. It was doing so well for a minute. I was very surprised at this result. As this is not my drone, I hope that the person that loaned it to me will understand as I try to see if Skydio will honor its warranty and replace it for him. So it crashed. It hit a wire in the first two minutes that I've been flying it. Okay, help me find this battery, man. You found it. Okay. Oh, it's roughed up. Sorry. I mean, okay. Wanna try it again? Oh, the, the propeller's all... Oh, dude, it's messed up. Propeller's broken. Holy and the camera's scuffed up. Looks like Skydio owes me a new drone. I think we're done. I think that's it. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Well, this video's a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. <laughs> Until next time, buh. And let's just hold off on that bye for a second. I wanted to give you some close-up shots of the damage here. First of all, you can see the propellers, the two propellers in the front were ripped off and uh, the hubs looked like they were scuffed up quite a bit. But the reason why I think this needs to be a total replacement is because of the gimbal and the camera. The way that it landed, it landed pretty much on the camera itself and it scuffed up the area of plastic around the lens. If I try to turn it on and see if the gimbal works, it does appear to still work. However, there's a little point in here between where it's scuffed up and I just wouldn't trust it. Not to mention the fact that a few of the underside sensors were completely ruined. Most notably the one in the front here, you can see that there's a little bit of plastic 
designed to keep it up off the ground and away from that lens, but it managed to crack the lens. Same with the one on the back left motor. You can see that it has been damaged as well. Now, of course, this could mean just a lens replacement, but I'm sure they can refurbish this and get it out and fixed up. But we're going to try to get a replacement from Skydio. That's what we're going to do for our friend. The battery got dinged up too when it got ejected. Landed pretty hard on the pavement and dented what I imagine to be just the case. And I'm sure that the battery itself inside is okay and intact, but still you should replace it. I did have an opportunity to fly with the controller just for a minute or two around my house and it flew fine. I was able to control it. It's a little bit like driving a school bus with marshmallow tires. It's not anything like a Phantom or a Mavic or any other kind of photography drone. This is built for autonomy. Some of you have asked me, Ken, why don't you review more drones? Well, I would, but companies are hesitant to send drones to me because if something happens, by golly, you're gonna hear about it because I will give an unbiased, completely honest review of my experience. Now that experience isn't always positive. In fact, sometimes it's downright negative. My obligation is to you, the viewer, not the companies that send me stuff. If you're a company and you have confidence in your stuff and you want to send it to me, you can send it here. Ken Heron, Box 1281, Huntingdon, Tennessee, 38344. And just to be clear, because I know Skydio will no doubt watch this video, this is an amazing drone. I had a bit of bad luck with it, but if you need an autonomous drone that will follow you around, if you're not an experienced pilot, you don't like to pilot a drone, yet you want to get drone footage, this is the guy right here for you. What happened to me today is not normal. I just got lucky, I guess, and it hit that wire. So uh, thank you, Skydio, for making a fine machine. It is very well built, good and solid. It remained pretty much in one piece after falling about 30 feet. So hope we can get this fixed up and back to my friend in New Zealand. I will keep you updated as to its progress and hopefully I'll have another chance to fly it again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time, buh and a bye. One more quick aside here. I did notice that when charging the battery in the drone using the cord, it does heat up quite a bit. Nothing to really get concerned about. It's not gonna injure you, but if you would like to charge the battery faster, and with less heat, you can use the dual charger. There's a link in the description for not only the drone, but all of the accessories, the beacon, and this dual charger as well.